Thailand's public health minister has offered a public apology for not wearing a face mask while attending a social event at the US Embassy in Bangkok. According to Bangkok Media, the minister, who at one time was perhaps unfairly associated with the expression dirty foreigners due to translation, was spotted with other government officials who weren't faced up either. He's told the media that he regrets now not being a good role model by lowering his guard while telling the public not to lower theirs either. This is the World Health Organization finally acknowledges that COVID-19 can and often is airborne, which may go some way to explain the low COVID count here, as mask wearing by most but not all ties or non-ties has become a normal way of life. This rainy season could be a heavy one. The week has seen the Industrial Estate Authority of Thailand asking industrial areas to review their flood management. With estates now being checked for readiness, homeowners too might want to look around their homes and gardens and prepare in readiness too. River levels may rise as China releases full power at dams upriver where reservoirs there are almost overflowing due to flooding. Rivers that previously had high levels have been virtually empty in much of this region for a long time, including parts of Thailand. This as China kept dams closed to hoard the wet stuff for themselves, and downstream, those on riversides are expecting a quick rise in levels. It's not drugs, it's noodles, was the response of a group of Suratani teenagers who were tracked by police as they went off into a secluded forest region, ready for arrest and, of course, recognition of a worthy task. The cops pounced on a small gang, only to find them sat around a campfire cooking mama noodles with squid and sauce for a quiet get-together. Caught on camera, of course, by the kids, the raid's gone viral on social media. No word on whether the boys in brown were invited to share the meal. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, and the water authorities have stated that despite the recent storms, water levels in reservoirs are still at critical levels. With water supplies at an all-time low to taps in the area, many streets are still seeing water pipe leaks go unrepaired for months. In our own soid by the studio, water runs 24-7 down the road, unrepaired and unmonitored. Much of that comes from new pipes which were already leaking when they were concreted over. Many expats today will be respecting the anniversary of the beginning of the Battle of Britain back in World War II, the day when Allied forces took to the air against the much heavier-powered German Luftwaffe and defeated them, a major step towards the end of the war. The loss of life count of both Allied and German servicemen has never been forgotten. And had that battle not taken place, then things could have been different, as here in Asia too, the Japanese grip on the region could have continued for far longer than it did. And the weekend will see at least one food line continue to hand out food. This as many slow down their charitable operations to focus on business, but the Mum Cafe team will be giving away in Soy 9, Supported in the past by Fabulous 103's Appeal Fund, the team there are also seeing support from Pattaya News and the Hungry Now app team too. Poverty is still rife here in Pattaya and the food lines have to date been mainly operated by non-ties and their families. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 33, dropping down to 28, with storms expected at any time today. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.